guys. It's Garland from Texas Street Cars, and the shops are 78 Malibu. This is a really fun little car. You know, we're going to describe it as a street strip car. We'll go into some of the details of why we think it's that. Uh, to start with, it's a, obviously a 78 Chevy Malibu. This is a G body. We had G bodies. We sold them. We talked about them. We love these cars. A lot of them get turned into full race cars. This isn't a full race car, but it is something you could drive the track, run some decent times, and come home in it. We know G bodies are prone to rust in the bottom of the doors, the, the hinges, the trunk, and all that stuff. You can go through the pictures and video. This is a solid old car. Paint's kind of amateur driver quality. It's not a show car by any means. You know these rock kind of behind this corner window is a little spot of rust right here that's been treated, but you know the paint, the quarter panel's not rotted out, nothing like that. It's got a little silver accents on it. Uh, drive train wise, it's got a 355 V8 in it with dark iron heads, aftermarket cam, intake, carb, big aluminum radiator with electric fan. The trans is a turbo 350 with it's a TCI built turbo 350 with a little stall in it. Rear end is a built seven and a half with upgraded axles. Uh, Posi track and then 373 gears in it. So it's a fun little car to run. It's run 12, 50, 12, 60 pretty consistently. Well, drag lights on it. The rear Mickey Thompson drag rails have like two miles on them. We just put them on there. So brand new rear tires. Interior wise, it's got some aftermarket little race seats in it. New carpet. It's got the B&M ratchet shifter, some aftermarket gauges and steering wheel. The horn works. The lights work. Uh, no heat or air in this car, but it does have the, the factory controls for all that if you wanted to go back with some of that stuff. Uh, back seat is factory. Doors open and close good on this car. You know, the weather stripping is, is not brand new. It's got some little flaws in the weather stripping. But door panels in the car are all original. They have some, some wear and stuff on the hard plastics. But you know, pretty solid original interior. The, it, it is cracked around the radio bezel. You can see the, the, in the video there. But fun to drive, little street strip car. You can take it to the track, run your times, and then drive it home. So that's what we like about this car. It sounds great. It's got a nice long tube exhaust with some, some foam esters on it. The exhaust is running here right behind the rear tire. Bumpers are in good shape. Still got the original tail lights. The exterior lights are working. I think one reverse light's out, but one of the reverse lights is still working. You know, put together well, not some thrown together junk. So we'll go drive around a little bit. You can, uh, here at see if you have any questions give us a call 254-383-3517
uh, street strip car. But we'll we'll get out here on the highway. You know, we've driven this car on the highway. It does have 373s with a turbo 350, so you know we're not gonna do 90 or nothing. But it does go down the highway good, and the car sounds killer. Every time we stop in this car, it's that same choppy idle. It sounds really good. Fifty for this car. If you have any questions, I have a bunch of pictures out. Watch the video. Look at the, the underhood pictures. Everything you, you have any questions, give us a call. Obviously, but we'll uh, launch it one more time for y'all here. See if we don't go to prison. It's like street outlaws, huh? Cameraman doesn't talk anymore, I guess. So, all right, you ready? Don't miss out on this little street strip car, you can still drive. 